We are now going back in time to the mythological ages. Back before we ever had a PlayStation Portal or a PlayStation 5 or any hardware that Pirates of we are so day. used to. <laughs> <laughs> and instead, we are going to be talking about a game called Age of Mythology Retold. So for those of you that may not be aware, Age of Mythology is a game that came out many, many moons ago. This was a successor How many to moons? Age. I need to know, Brett. Oh, shit. Now I got to look it up. I yeah, look it up. Put Come me on. The spot, bro. How can you tell me this and not tell me this? I know. I should have. I should have had it ready to go. Um, People are going to look on us and be like, y'all suck. Well, now they really are going to look on us. <laughs> 2002 is when it came out. So this game oh, wow. is 22 years old. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah. Long, long time ago. So when I was a wee lad at 12 years old, I was playing this game. And uh, how was le- wee lad, Brett? Back in the day, it was great. It was great. I haven't, go lucky. Haven't been had. It wasn't jaded or anything yeah, by video games. I was like, beautiful. this is amazing. <laughs> we live in technology. Man. This game, uh, you know, ironically enough, uh, this came out three years after I got my first PC. Oh wow! Yeah, so this was uh, I got my first PC in 1999, and uh, then three years later, I picked up Age of Mythology. Prior to that, I was playing Age of Empires one and two, Damn. and then after two came out, then this guy came out. Um, I believe is how that worked out. So this is retold. So this is a remastered version of that 2002 video game. And the difference between Age of Empires and Age of Mythology, Age of Empires is very much like, you know, empires fighting with each other. You had like the different Romans and the Greeks and the, the, the Huns and this, that, whatever, whatever. This is focused around like myth, mythological gods. Okay. So like you play as like, the Romans or this, that, whatever. But then you also have your gods that you can summon to do bidding for you. So there's an added benefit of it. So like when I was playing, I played as my God was Zeus. So I was able to call in basically powers, God powers that Zeus has. Yes. And, um, and then otherwise it's very much similar to your standard age vampires game. So you're building your bases, um, you're collecting your food, you're collecting, they actually, this is actually a little bit simplified from like some of them where you're having to get wood, stone, gold, this, that, whatever. And this one, you're collecting three main resources and that's food from any source. You're collecting wood and then you're collecting gold. So there's no stone to collect. It's just gold, but there's an added thing of, uh, there is food. Yeah. Yeah. You collect meat and vegetables. But food is just food. Food. You just collect food. Gold. And wood. wood? That's yeah, it? that's it. Oh. Yeah. So you I don't have that most. fourth resource yeah, is what, yeah, I, what yeah. I was saying. So, um, and then you still have your people management, you know? So, like, you still have, have that aspect to it. I'm sorry. Um, well, there, there is, so there is a fourth one, but it's not the traditional, like, gathering thing. The fourth one is actually favor, God's mm. favor. And the way you do that is you have to build a temple and you set your villagers to pray at that temple. My body is a temple. I know. Yeah, your body is Wonderland, right? <laughs> it is wrecked. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you, and this is funny because when, when I was playing the game, I didn't realize the uh, favor thing until like way later in the game. So I had a bunch of favor at the beginning because you just start with favor. And then I was like, shit, I can't use any of my God powers because I don't have any more favor. Mm-hmm. And I was like, how the hell do I get favor? I was looking around. I was trying to find relics on the place. At this point, I had collected like literally every single open like abandoned village base so i had bases all over i had used um uh who's the um uh loki i had used loki's power to create a portal from my base to a portal behind the bases of like the enemies so i was able to teleport units down there nice and just like come in from behind them in two different directions and it was like really great but this whole entire time i'm like where the hell is my god's favor And then I looked it up and found wait, out that I had to have them wait, pray. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Loki? Yeah. He's not Greek. Well, I don't know. I, I, I said Greek. I don't know what I actually did, but yeah. He's, he's Norse. Yeah, he's Norse. Yeah. I don't know. There was Loki in there somehow, some way. Wait, is this based off Greek mythology or just mythology? It's a bunch of mythology oh, generally. Shit, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. just like, hold yeah. up. Age of, wait, what's this game called again? Age of, Age of mythology. mythology. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Fucking hell. <laughs> it's like you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, calm down. And then Spider-Man yeah. showed up. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are we doing? I love it. Yes. Yeah, so they. Oh no. So I was wrong. I was. <laughs> I was not playing Norris. I was. It was Hades. That's why there was the portal. 
So I was, I was doing. Oh, I had, still it was yeah, a yeah. Loki. I, I was, I was playing Greek. I was Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades. So it was okay. the gods gotcha. that I had okay. access to. Okay. But there is a North civilization you can do. Sorry, got my, <laughs> got my civilizations mixed up. <laughs> you know, that. yeah, they're, they're all the same. <laughs> they're all the same. You know, but no, because you can play as the Greeks, the Egyptians, the Norse, the Atlanteans, or the Chinese. So in the Greeks, you have Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades. The Norse have Odin, Thor, Loki, and Freyr. Freyr. Egyptians have Ra, Isis, and Set. Atlanteans, Kronos, Gaia, and Aranos. And Chinese have Fushi, Nuwa, and Shenong. I thought Atlantis was Greek, too. Um, yeah, I think it's a Greek folktale thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They're just different gods, you know, from different, I gotcha. different I gotcha. eras of time. You know what I mean? Anyway, so uh, in this game, you're building your settlements and everything. So you can it's it's very standard kind of uh, empires vibe where like you basically build you have your your villages that you set up, you build your watchtowers and then you have your three main unit developments. So you have your barracks, uh, your horse stables for cavalry and then you have your archeries. So you have those three main like places to like build your units out of. And then eventually you can build these like large uh, temple fortress things that will then build your siege units and then your special gods that you can then send out to battle. And then you create your army and then everything else largely runs as you would be playing in um, the standard age of empires or Starcraft or whatever you're, you're, you're playing through. Okay. Um, so these uh these heroes are really interesting because they do have a lot of interesting powers like they're really they can be really strong. You have one guy who can like literally just go in and just like pulverize like buildings. You know they're just like super strong against buildings, but it's just like a little tiny dude. But he's like super strong against buildings. Where they might have some special buff against like you know I don't know some other type of unit like maybe an archer or something like that. So you kind of want to build and fashion your armies based off of what you know you're going to need to attack the enemy. And then eventually, like, I got to the point where I was like, okay, I just got to build a bunch of, like, trebuchets and stuff like that and just go in and just, like, wreck shit. So that's what I did, and it was great. But um, what I what I learned in playing through this game, so the, the, the graphics are good, but they're not as good as I kind of expected them to be. Um, they're they're nice, but I kind of expected a little bit more of, like, a remaster. They're yeah. passable, Brett. They're passable. Yeah, exactly. So they're... Uh, they, and then the, the UI feels very dated still, and I was hoping they would have done some UI enhancements to this because, like, everything's really big and kind of, like, I feel like I'm on an old 16 or 43 monitor, and I'm like, you know, the UI takes up, like, three quarters of the screen, and I'm like, oh, here's my little window to see my little stuff. It's like it's oddly large for a modern day game. And I feel like they should have done some more work to that. Um, it was fun to go back in time, try this out. But I will say after I played through it, I was like, I don't love this as much as I used to. Mm. No, I was very no sad. Way. The I concept, was, the, I mean, what you were talking about, the battles and having the gods, I was like, that sounds awesome. Yeah, that sounds interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. But it's like, it's not as... I mean, it's it's a large piece of it, but there's still a lot of the focus is still on the 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 army building, and then the gods are just kind of a nice addition to help support. But it's not like a main <coughs> piece of it. I mean, there was some cool stuff where it's like, okay, I was attacking a base, and then as my army drip 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 like died out, what I instead was doing was I used Zeus to like drop. There's an AOE like lightning yeah. attack that he'll do, and it literally just like starts dropping lightning bolts like throughout their land. Yeah, and did some more damage while I was trying to rebuild my army, which lasts about twenty seconds or whatever. So that stuff was kind of cool. Yeah, that's cool. But it, well, I mean, it's twenty two year old game, so it's not technically fleshed out. And for the time, I'm sure it was great. Oh yeah, it really was. But th they've made others, right? Like more recent ones. So they, yeah, I mean, Age of Empires 4 was the most recent game. Not Age of Empires, Age of Mythology. No, this was the only one they ever made. Oh, okay. Yeah. They should definitely remake, they should make a new one. Why? why I was kind of hoping they would have, honestly, because I think it would be nice to see a more modern. Is they this, did a is couple this of expansions. someone, like, if people, like, take interest in this? Because I don't, I just don't think people would want to play this game, technically. I think the problem with this game is that... It's too nostalgic. yeah. I mean, like, I think Age of Mythology has a lot of, there's a lot of, there's a cult following yeah. with Age of Mythology, but yeah. it never got the attention that Age of Empires did. So it's kind of like, 
they're putting their emphasis into Age of Empires really is what it kind of came down to. And I wish they would kind of go back and revisit this because I thought this back then felt like this is a better <laughs> version of Age of Empires. <clears throat> but for me, the problem with playing it now is like games have evolved so much to where they put most games now have a lot of like quality of life updates to make things move faster. Mm-hmm. You know, like, I don't know, I guess, you know, wheelchair mode in a sense of like, not wheelchair mode, but like um, speed mode or something like some like these things that are built to take away from the grind yeah. that you were used to from back in the day with old games kind of like y'all talking about like when we were doing like wow classic and how much grind that was there and how much they've done quality of life wise to make that I grind seem that. less that's what i mean yeah like well you yeah you sorry said, you said we yeah yeah not I know no, what you're talking about no no how hey they. <laughs> yeah yeah how you specifically you know said those things so like i think with this game I wish there's so much of that that exists now with modern day RTSs, which there aren't many of them, but like I was talking about against the storm, for example, like that game that I played that was like a roguelike RTS. Yeah. That was like very, there was so many features of that that were, it was quick and moved fast. Like I can get through a mission in about 45 minutes, which is still long, but like this, one of these missions I played took me like an hour and a half to like finish. And there was such a slow buildup to get to like the fun stuff. Yeah. And I was like, this is just, this is, it's kind of a slog now. It's not as fun as it used to be. Yeah. So that being said, if you have nostalgia for Age of Mythology, that's cool. If you like going and play old games that feel a little bit older, I'd say you could pick this up. Also, it's on Game Pass. It's the only reason I played this. I would not have paid for it, <clears throat> but it was on Game Pass. So I was like, cool. I'll download and try I'll it. Download and try it. Side note, I canceled my Game Pass yesterday. <gasps> what? I'd like... I don't have anything downloaded from them, and I would in the past be like, "Oh, I want to try this out." Uh, I'm gonna download it so I have to play later, and I just never would. Yeah. So I was like, "Man, I've been giving Xbox so much money and haven't done anything with yeah, it." Yeah, I'm not gonna renew mine. Yeah. Because I need to change my debit card information. I haven't done it yet. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, I don't even. There's nothing really good on there, yeah. and Xbox didn't do it anyway. Yeah, I've been I've been using it a lot. Like, well, yeah, I found at least one good game a month, which has been nice that I can like jump in and play. Um, like against the storm was like last month or whatever. This month is this. I just downloaded a uh, Flintlock is on there, so I might try that out because that's free on Game Pass. Mm. <clears throat> so I was like, there's a there's at least one game that I can put my attention put towards, attention you know. Into. But I agree though, it's not as big of a. Yeah. I mean, especially Xbox themselves, it's not bringing anything good on there no. really. Hellblade so. was like their Hell Mary. I felt like, and it didn't. Hail Mary. It didn't. So hit hell flat. Flat it hail flat, yep. Um, so again, I think if you guys have nostalgia on Age of, Age of, Age of Mythology and want to give this a try, I think it's worth jumping in on Game Pass. Um, but if you haven't played an RTS or didn't grow up with this kind of game, like don't touch this game. It's I don't think it's <laughs> I don't think it's worth going wow. back to. It's it's got it's you know, it doesn't well, have the I the staying I've never power. Heard you say that. Yeah, <laughs> just don't just don't play. This yeah. Game. Um, and if and then my other comment I put on my notes here is: Is a casual gamer friendly? Um, yes, if you like to focus on one game and get really, really deep into it, you could get deep into this game and just like play this forever because there is a good amount of content here. I mean, you can play different civilizations. There is a campaign, so you can run through a campaign and kind of um, learn the mechanics and build up the story and stuff like that. I've never loved campaigns and RTSs; they just seem kind of weird. weird. Yeah, from like the top-down view and having to control little characters through this like what I expect to just like build shit and like, you know, destroy other places. But otherwise I'd say, I honestly think that I would recommend you play against the storm instead. Cause I think that was a much more, I like adored that game and thought it was so good and it's an RTS, but it's a modern day RTS that I think just does a better job at simplifying some of the bullshit and like really emphasizing like the, the replayability. So, mm. so there you have it. Age of mythology retold from oh, yeah, against the storm. Available now on Xbox. Game Pass. Game Pass. Yeah, you maybe want to play that, but you, is it on Xbox? What? Against Storm? I guess. Yeah, Storm. it's on Xbox Game Pass. Dang. Yeah. There you just go. Renew it. it. <laughs> you can also just buy it. You could just buy it. I mean, the, the game's not very Yo, expensive. I don't want it. 15 bucks is too much for me. Oh, stand up. Oh, 